Hey guys, welcome back to me being cheap. I have decided that I am going to join the pantry challenge for January 2022. This was started by Three Rivers Homestead. And if you remember, she had a uh, food preservation challenge uh, last summer for summer 2021. I believe it was the month of August. And I did that one too. So I'm going to participate in that. And one, one reason that I, I am going to, we are going to, the whole family is going to, is because the freezer is full. Michael went deer hunting and he got three deer. And which that's, that's a good problem to have. But when it comes to freeze drying, I like to have one of my shelves in the freezer empty so that I can stage the trays and kind of work ahead. But as it is right now, I have no room for the trays uh, to pre-freeze things for my freeze dryer. So that is one reason why I am doing that. Another reason is to use up some of the things out of the freezer as well as from the pantry, things that uh, probably just need to get used up. Uh, might be getting a little on the old side. And the other reason why I wanna do this is to see uh, what gaps I have in food that I have put up. So maybe we need to put up more of this, more of that, we won't know. Other reasons why some people might be participating in the, in the challenge, uh, not necessarily the reasons we are. Some people might be trying to recover from the financial uh, outlay that they had for the Christmas season. Uh, some people may uh, have uh, been off of work due to being ill or have lost a job or some people may be trying to discover the holes in their preps. So for us, um, it's just a matter of trying to get the freezer cleaned out and then seeing what maybe we should put more of for next year or this coming year and, and what we don't need any of. So prior to doing this, I spent a, a bit of time uh, organizing freezer space, uh, organizing the pantry, and so here we go. Okay, first of all, you'll notice behind me, uh, that is a menu board. It is not numbered with the days of the week. However, it is laid out seven across and four down with an extra row at the bottom for the longer months. And um, what's nice about this is it's a bit flexible. We could take different types of meals and move the cards around. So up here the first week and i don't even know if the camera's picking this up the ones with the blue dots um those are the weekends that uh that the boys are over here so we know not to cook anything too heavily laden with onions and celery and and or anything weird uh so try to keep it kid friendly when they're here and then tuesdays and thursdays they're over here as well but we we kind of know that as a routine so Looking at this first weekend, uh, we had venison, turkey, and pork over here on Sunday, and today is Sunday. Now, we went ahead and had pork yesterday because it was New Year's, and so we are having turkey today. So, I mean, it's, it's not set in stone. It does give you some flexibility. Um, we had the, uh, the pork as part of New Year's dinner. We had the hog jowls in the... Uh, in the uh, black eyed peas and then also pork was in the, the keto crack or egg roll in a bowl that we had. So there is some flexibility. And I want to say I did not spend a lot of money making this board. This foam board came from Dollar Tree and was a dollar. These little white envelopes I had left over from a stationary set. So I used those. The Index cards also came from Dollar Tree. They were a dollar. And the little uh, two-way sticky squares that I used uh, to attach these to the foam board were also for, from Dollar Tree for a dollar. So um, I did make some cards that had different types of vegetables and things that we could try and get creative with. The reason why I did this is so that we can have a variety in our diet and then make sure to use up some of the things that we have in our freezer. So we have quail that we raised, rabbit that we've raised, uh, some of the chicken that we raised. We also have chicken bought on sale. Obviously now we have deer, uh, beef, pork, um, what have you. And then I also threw egg in there as a protein for uh, when the chickens are really, really lame, um, which is not the case right now. So. That's the rationale behind that. It is flexible, so we're not we're not married to it. 
We did put fish on Mondays and canned fish on Wednesdays. That will allow us to use up some of the, the canned fish we have as well as uh, fish, um, fish that we caught from the ocean as well as fish bought from the store or what have you. Okay, so I did mention that we had the, it technically wasn't black eyed peas, it was field peas or to be specific, pink eye purple hole peas. We had those yesterday and we actually grew those in the garden. And then we had keto crack. I will post the recipe down below. Uh, it's egg roll in a bowl. It's a cabbage dish um, made with ground pork and some spices. It's really, really good. And we have been doing for several weeks now some meal prep. And so uh, Michael will carry that for his lunch this week and then I will have it as well. Now for breakfast this week, this coming week, I am going to make steel cut oats. And again, this is from the pantry. Last time I did the steel cut oats, Michael liked it a lot. We did pumpkin spice. Uh, so it's kind of, it tastes a lot like pumpkin pie. But this one we're gonna do more like an apple pie. And this is some apple butter that is from 2020. So again, using some things up from the pantry. And I have a couple of apples um, that are starting to get some spots on them and we probably need to use these up. So I'm going to put this together tonight. Um, I will link the recipes that I referenced down below. None of these are my recipes. I might tweak them a little bit depending on what we have on hand, what we don't have on hand, but um, we, we typically use recipes off the internet or we have some recipes from some cookbooks that we really like. So for breakfast this coming week is going to be steel cut oats. Um, apple pie flavor, and then the uh, lunches will be keto crack, at least for a few days until we run out of those storage uh, containers that we bought, then we'll have to come up with something else for the lunches. Michael is in there cooking right now, and he is cooking a white chili recipe. It's from the Land of Lakes page. Uh, we modified that a little bit because we will typically put chicken in it or turkey, and tonight we're putting turkey in it. Again, uh, trying to clean out the freezer. Now, um, Three Rivers Homestead, Homestead says the rules for this. Basically, there are no rules. You just kind of do what you need to do to make it work because not everybody can avoid a store for um, a whole month. So there may be things that we need to pick up. There may be things, if you decide to join us in the challenge too, there may be things that you need to pick up as well. So, um, a little bit about that. I don't know that I'm going to film every day. Um, that may get a little bit tedious and maybe not too interesting, but I'll, I'll try and do a, a post every few days or so about what we're doing uh, with the pantry challenge and if we had to go to the store and get anything. But we will keep track of what we didn't have and we will definitely share that with you. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, happy, new year for 2022. It's got to be better, doesn't it? All right. Take care.